hello guys what's up uh it's tk here so today what i'm just simply going to do is i want to look at a truss and i just would like to explain to you what each member uh what is it, what's the name of each member and the function of each member and the different terms that are used on on, on a roof truss so i'm going to show you what a roof truss looks like and then i'm going to take you to a building whereby I'm going to insert this truss so that you can see what it looks like when it's on a building. So before we go to the building, uh, let's look at the truss itself. So guys, this is what you call a roof truss and it's called a gang nailed, a gang nailed roof truss. So this shows a nailing plate that has been used to fix that joint to join these three members together. So basically there is this also this plate is also on the other side so guys <coughs> let's look on the two members this member here this member here that i've highlighted this member is called a top coat it's called a top coat some can call it a rafter but it's on this truss we can call it a top coat since we have got a bottom coat so a bottom coat guys a bottom coat is mostly it sits on the load bearing walls as you can see there it sits on the wall plate and then it sits on the walls so the top coat mostly uh this is where the roof patterns or uh, the roof pair lines and the roof sheeting sit on so we say that is the top coat and guys uh, this member here inside is called a web so this is a king post truss this center member here is called a king post and this member here is called a web and then here on a top cord we have got uh, this distance I want to show you the distance this distance from the wall plate to the end of the rafter guys this is called an overhang so basically this is your walls on a building and that is the wall plate that is sitting on top of the building remember a wall plate is is uh, placed on top of load bearing walls so that the trusses can sit on it as you can see here this is a 38 by 76 uh, wall plate and the truss is sitting on top of the wall plate and the wall plate it helps to spread the load of the truss to the wall building okay so uh and then we have got uh what we call the span so the span guys basically is the distance from the center of the, the span basically is the distance from the end of the wall plate to the end to the other end of the wall plate so which means basically the span is where the bottom cord starts and it is also where the bottom cord ends so this is a truss for you guys uh, this is a truss and the sizes they come in different sizes the top cords you can have uh, 36 by 114s or 38 by 114s or you can have uh, the webs mostly they are 36 by 73s size timber and one thing you have to know about timber timber it comes in stock length so stock length i think i will explain to you that in another video on a short video so that this video won't be that long and that's a truss for you guys and then we've got different types of truss uh, let me show you the different tests that we have so we have that type of a truss here basically uh that is called a jack truss maybe it's a close check and then we've got that truss there another type of a truss and then we have got this uh type of a truss this is basically used on where a hip is on a hip set so yeah a lot of different types of trusses that you get and i wish i could explain to you all of them on this video but unfortunately our video is going to be too long so i'm just going to show you how it looks like on a building so the truss that i was looking at mostly the t1 truss is this truss guys 
so this is basically a roof layout and with the roof framing on it so this is where the truss is going to sit as i was telling you the truss is sits on the wall plate so the bottom guard is sitting on the wall plate and on this year the wall plate is those two green lines as you see that is the 38 by 76 mm and this year the blue lines it shows the 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 the, the, the wall thickness which is the 230 walls and from the wall plate from from the wall plate to the o to the to that red line there that is the overhang length so that is guys that is called the overhang the red line it is the overhang so i'm just going to show you the 3d of it so this is basically what the 3d of it is going to look like so that's how it is going to look like like that i hope this is going to be helpful guys and it sits on top of the what on top of the wall plate and here that is the heat end i hope this is going to be useful to you guys i know it's not much but at least it kind of take you inside to what the building looks like and if you want more of this type of videos i can i can make them for you okay guys thank you for your time i hope you now know what a trust looks like the different type members on a trust yeah until next time